And you are? Wesley Wright. Okay. And this is your work? This is my work. And what is it exactly? Uh, it's ceramic sculpture. Uh, you know, figuratively based. I, uh, a lot of my stuff, I, I reference uh, mythology from different cultures and kind of take it and uh, put it in a modern context. So this piece here is called Neo Moai. And so I'm thinking about those heads on Easter Island and how, uh, I mean, first of all, they're really interesting looking. And I was thinking about, you know, what if, um, what would it look like for our generation if we had a similar sort of monument that we made? So you can see all these different um, shapes and patterns and symbols on here. So those sort of reference different things within our culture. Like if you look on the side here, we have like a circuit board, but it's also sort of like veins going into the head and then um, there's like wires here we have like a little plug so sort of I mean the you know it was people say it was possibly the worship of these idols and the construction of these idols that helped to lead to the destruction of that civilization but it was also um, you know different species coming in um, invasive species that that probably brought the end of their culture. And so I'm sort of drawing a parallel between the two cultures, between uh, the, the people of Rapa Nui and, uh, and us. So there's different references to like energy and uh, you know, things that, that benefit us, but things that also are a problem. <clears throat> So these are, um, they're called Allies, it's the Ally series. And so I'm thinking of these animals as sort of being uh, sort of spirits, you know, like spirit animals that might help these people, these characters. Um, I was reading some Carlos Castaneda uh, the further teachings of Don Juan and he talks about these spirits and they're they're powerful and how you know you have to have a relationship with them if you don't know how to approach them they can cause you problems uh, but if you have a relationship with them and you know how to talk to them and how to handle them that they can be a, they can be a guide for you and so I really kind of like that metaphor, and so I'm interested in sort of shamanism and, and again, like what that might look like in a modern context. And so most of these guys, the, um, the animals are meant to also look like the characters. So you'll see certain similarities like this piece, the wings and the mustache match in a way so there's sort of this like echoing of the form and then it sort of is makes more sense as their spirit animal in that way and so this one here you know this this wolf has a little fez on top and so you know a fez often represents sort of membership in a secret organization or something and so this I have a mold of a uh, of a hard drive, and then there's some other sort of circuitry related things on there. And so it's sort of as if it's the cult of technology. So you kind of have the three things coming together. You have the human element, the natural element, and then like the technological element. So I deal a lot with sort of those different areas coming together and not only is it so relevant in terms of like the content behind it, but it's also really interesting visual juxtaposition that I'm playing with. These pieces are uh, Chiringas. 
So a Chiringa is an Aboriginal sacred ceremonial object and it's usually made out of wood. And so it'll be a piece of wood with a carving on it. And so young men, when they go through a manhood ceremony, um, they would have other, other things happen and get circumcised, things like that. And the elder men of the tribe would, would bring out the Chiringa and the imagery on it would sort of represent a map of the cosmos or family lineage or something like that. And so, again, I'm, I'm taking this idea of this object and, and putting it in this contemporary context. So, you know, the... I've, I've taken molds of different video game controllers. You might re uh, recognize some of these different parts here and put them all together. And so it's this sort of organic technology, this like hybrid object. And so it would sort of be the ceremonial object for this time. And then uh, the cherub here, so sort of a an angel of sorts and uh, you know he's he's cute he's a cute little handsome fella and but he's also sort of menacing a little bit so you know thinking about you know, if you think about angels you know but Lucifer was an angel and he was he was a cherub he was the the fallen the fallen cherub so um, Kind of thinking about that and these uh, these different sort of swirly molded parts there, you know, referencing classical sculpture, and that's pretty much the whole show. Thank you.